Okay, we're going to take a quick look around the car as it's ready for another coat of primer. Uh, spent a long time getting this ready like this. And I'm hoping the next coat of primer will go a long way to taking out any remaining imperfections. So you can see. And our reflection is in pretty good shape. It's hard to tell actually because the difference in the, in the roughness and the difference in the colors obscures everything. This was several weeks work I think, well two three weeks since the last time I put on some primer. In order to get it really smooth, I have to be sanding on all <clears throat> one kind of material. Right now I got everything from, from the hard epoxy. That's floor epoxy right there, which is really hard. Uh, we got uh, auto body putty, and we got the red lead, formerly lead stuff, glaze, and they're all different hardnesses, so it's really hard to get it perfect. So I'm going to put on a thick layer of um, primer and sand it down very carefully, probably with 400 grit, grit, bleh, grit wet or dry sandpaper, and we'll see if we can make it perfect. You can see, I don't know if you can see the reflection right there on that spot there. It's as good as I can get it with, the, with these materials. So, we'll see how it goes. Here we are several days later. Got the body ready for another application of primer. As you can see this time, it uh, required a lot less fixing. I'm hoping that this time is going to be the last application of primer. It's pretty smooth at this point. I did a test spray yesterday of uh, the top parts of the side pods to put on some dark glossy paint and see how they came out. They came out better than I expected, but wasn't good enough yet, so I did some more work. And now, it's looking pretty good. Here we are, ready for the top coat. We're hoping it's perfect. It's smooth enough, the camera's having trouble focusing on it.